Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly general read. We're going to dive on in and ask the Oracle and the Tarot cards here today. Who is jealous of you? <clears throat> I'm going to be using a few different decks for this specific read. We're going to find out who is jealous of you and why perhaps they could be jealous of you. Um, if this is something that you're interested in, guys, feel free to stick around. Uh, this reading here is specific to all fire signs. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this read is for you. Cross watches, you're welcome as well. So let's see who may be jealous of you. Oh, and before I forget, guys, don't forget to let me know uh, if you enjoyed this reading by liking and or subscribing. Okay, so the first card out is the wolf. <clears throat> I'm getting here, um, the downward pointing triangle with the line through it can speak to earth energy. So this person may be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I'm also getting here with the wolf being a canine here, there's a strong loyalty coming through with this person. So... Um, I'm feeling like this person, it's something to do with loyalty. Um, maybe they're jealous of you because you're a very loyal kind of a person. Um, you're, you know, you're a loyal person. You're straight up and honest. I'm also getting with this person's character, it could be that they are a parent or a teacher, like some kind of a teacher, because the wolf is an energy of a teacher, someone who teaches other people. Uh, so this person could work in the line of teaching, uh, whether it be a school teacher or a lecturer, uh, someone who teaches others how to do things. Hmm. With the hawk, we're getting air energy, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could be an air energy as well here. This person who is jealous of you watches you like a hawk, okay? They really keep their eye on you. This could be someone who constantly checks your social media profile or updates to see what you are doing. Um because you trigger jealousy inside of this person. I feel like this person is undergoing some major changes in their life right now. Uh, perhaps they're not happy with where they're at, or um, I'm just getting here with the scorpion energy that this person, you really trigger this person, um, and you, you trigger some kind of a wound up inside of them. Now, it's probably not anything that you do specifically, but... Um, there is something here that they are jealous of, that they see in you, that they wish for themselves. It could be a fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, Sag. It could be another fire sign here. This person may be jealous of your creativity. Okay, I get with a scorpion. The scorpion is someone who is highly creative and a bit of like a go-getter. It's like nobody gets in the way of the scorpion. And perhaps this is what this person is jealous of, that you have the courage to really just go after what it is that you want, um, like on a creative level, like you're unstoppable and they're jealous of that. Yeah, look at this. You can't make this up. Wounds. We've got the wounds card that's come out here. So I feel like this person, you trigger um, some inner child wounds or something something inside of them that they haven't done the work on, okay? <clears throat> I get that this person is in a, in a stage of their life right now where they're undergoing some changes or they're about to undergo some changes. I do feel like this person is experiencing some kind of pain uh, with where they're currently at. 
abandonment. It could be that this person has abandonment issues or you trigger abandonment within them. Mm. I'm seeing a doorway here and this doorway is shut tight. So I feel like this person could be jealous of you because maybe they see you as someone who, you know, can easily, um, like maybe you're someone who just somehow attracts opportunities to you. And it's like for them, like they always meet up against a closed door. It's like, why can't I you know, have these opportunities like Aries Leo Sagittarius gets. Because I'm, I'm seeing a closed door here. So it's like this person just constantly um, is up against closed doors or just encounters like blocks or challenges in their life. This person may be jealous of you too, especially if you are in a relationship. Like this person feels like they are alone and you have maybe someone special in your life. Got the wisdom card coming through here too. So this person may be jealous of the fact that there's that you're very perceptive and you have great insight. Mm. <clears throat> Look at this, Nine of Pentacles. This person sees you as someone who is abundant, successful, doing really well for yourself. Maybe you're very independent. Maybe you're very self-sufficient. You know, you can stand on your own two feet. You don't need to rely on anyone for financial support or assistance. Uh, maybe this person is jealous and envious of the fact that you can buy yourself nice things. Uh, maybe you've got a beautiful home. Uh, maybe you live quite a lavish lifestyle and this person has always wanted that. It could also be someone that you work with. Mm, interesting. Five of Pentacles in reverse. It's like this person is jealous because they see you as someone who's never who's never gone without or because you know when the five of pentacles is in reverse, this is like someone who has got it made. It's like you know, in the in the upright, it speaks to a lack. In the reverse, it's like abundance. So, and it's sitting on the this door. It's sitting on top of the door. So it's like, yeah, they see you as someone who constantly just seems to easily like land on your feet. If you're married or in a committed relationship, this person this person is jealous of the fact that you have this and they don't. Okay, you might be um, in a position where you're about to get married or maybe you've been proposed to. Um, they want that and they haven't got that. I'm also seeing here you might be in the throes of building um, a successful business for yourself. I am seeing the Four of Wands as stability, you know, like a strong foundation. Maybe lately you've reached some kind of a milestone when it comes to work or when it comes to love. Um, and it's like you, you're set. It's kind of like you're set for life or you're set in some way. You know, you're secure. You're financially secure. You're emotionally secure. And they, they are jealous that you have that. Okay. Um, I feel like this could be someone around work or... I want to say family, but at this point, I'm getting strong work energy. Okay, what have we got here? Five of Pentacles. Wow, interesting. Yeah, this person is jealous of you because there's something missing in their life that you have and they are yet to attain 
or require. Nine of Wands. Okay, this person is jealous of you because with the Nine of Wands, this is an energy of someone who doesn't give up very easily. Okay, so maybe this person has to work really, really hard and they feel like, you know, no matter how hard they work, um, they don't get their own way or things just never, you know, fall the way they want them to fall. But with you, it's like, you know, you're constantly striving and achieving things and, you know, you don't easily give up like this person does. You know, with the Five of Pentacles here, this is someone who feels like they're constantly ungrateful. I'm getting here, um, this person feels like they're ungrateful. Mm. Even if things were to land in this person's lap, I feel like there's still a story inside of them that just doesn't know how to be thankful or appreciative or grateful. Okay. And we'll get one more card for our fire signs. Oh, this one wanted to come out. Look at this, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like, yeah, this is a strong... Um, this is, this is strongly telling me that this is someone around work. They could be in finance, like they could work as an accountant or in finance or something to do with like giving loans or, you know, handing over loans to do with money. Um, but this person is jealous of you again with the Ace of Pentacles. It's like they see you as someone who's quite successful. It's like the doors of success. Uh, seem to open up to you here. Okay, they see you building some kind of a lifestyle for yourself that's going to provide long-term security and long-term, you know, return of investment. Also, to the Ace of Pentacles can speak to an offer of proposal. So perhaps if you are a fire sign out there that's recently been uh, proposed to, uh, maybe you've been given an engagement ring. I feel like this person is jealous of the fact that, yeah, you have that and they are yet to meet someone special in their life and be proposed to. So yeah, that's what I've got for you today, Fire Signs. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Until next time, take care.